day. I decided that I wanted to do some writing today in a different part of my house. So I got my clipboard here so that I can sit down wherever I like and it's all, it's uh, got a nice hard cover so I can do my writing on it and uh, the clips to hold my paper in place. I decided that I wanted to do some different type of writing today. I wanted to do a friendly letter. Do you remember doing friendly letters? It's when you write a message to someone uh, and so uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna write a letter to my friend. You could write to, to, to whoever you like. You could write to your mom, you could write to your dad, you could write to Grammy or Grampy or aunties or uncles or cousins or friends. Um, you can write to uh, the bird outside in your lawn. There's a cat that comes to visit us. Maybe I wanna write a letter to him. Um, so you choose who you wanna write to and that's what you put on the first line. You're going to put at the very top, you always put a a greeting to the person that you are writing to. So you could say, dear mom or dear dad. Some people start with dear, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You could just put the name of the person that you're writing to, like um, Krista or Mike or Helen, whoever you've decided that you want to write your letter to. That goes on the first line. So since I'm going to write to my friend Krista, I'm going to write dear Krista on that top line. So dear duh, that's a duh duh dog. So that's D, D, E, E, like in feet. I hear that double E sound. Okay, D, R, 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 R that's R, D, R. And again, parents, if you want to give them the dictionary spelling, that's all. Oh, that's up to you. Um, Krista, I'm going to write her name now. E A. I know how to spell her name. So I've got that at the top. So that is ready to go. Now I'm going to, uh, the first thing I think I want to do is tell her how I'm feeling because I like to write about how I'm feeling. So uh, I'm feeling like I miss her. So I'm going to write, I miss you, period. Okay. So I, that's an uppercase I because I'm talking about myself. Always uppercase when you're talking about yourself. So I, I miss. So I'm going to leave a space between the I and miss and m m m that's m m i i igloo i m i s that's an s and if you didn't know it's actually two s's in the dictionary so there's miss I miss what was next gotta go to my planning I miss you y o u that's a word ball word I miss you period now I can put my period. Now next in, in a piece of writing, you usually want someone to write you back. So you send a message out and you want them to reply. So you can get them to reply by asking questions. Um, so we talked about questions are when you want information from someone, when you want them to give you an answer. So um, my question might be, uh, what are you doing for fun? Question mark. And then she can write me back. And I have to remember that at the end of a question, it's not a period, it's a question mark. So that's the period with the funny little curved hat. So we'll talk about that in a second. So let's write down, what are you doing for fun? Question mark. So the first word was what? W -w web, that's W. W, -w -a -a umbrella. W -a -t T -t turtle what are that's a word ball word r a r e but also we know that a r chunk from our song me pirates friends say r a r like star so we know that one uh what are you y o u word ball word what are you doing so doing is one word do is in it so i'm going to write do i know do from the word ball d o ing ing, I-N-G, that's the I-N-G chunk, and it's a tail, so I have to put it on, I have to attach it to the word do, it can't, ing cannot stand on itself, or stand by itself, right, so ing, I-N-G, skip ing, jumping, okay, I-N-G, I uh, better check my writing, because I'm not sure what's next, what are you doing for, word while word, F-O-R, what are you doing for fun, f-f-fish, in space between the words, right? F a a umbrella. F a n n nut. And what are you doing for fun? Question mark. And I have to remember when I make my question mark. So I have the period there, and now I'm going to put a little hat. I'm going to make a backward C, and then a line coming down. Okay. 
So there's my question mark. What are you doing for fun? And so I could continue to ask her lots of uh, questions or even tell her what I've been doing for fun. Um, right now, I'm uh, we're thinking about some trees, planting some trees that we planted last year in little cups and we're gonna maybe plant those so I could talk about that with her tell her some information ask her I know she grows a garden so I might ask her about whether or not she started her garden lots of things that we can talk about then I send it out and hope that she will write me back um, on the bottom we have the two lines that I've made here the, the first line here is going to be for um, my closing so uh, some people put love um, I'm gonna choose to put your friend, so that's my relationship to her, is your friend, and then I put my name on that very bottom line. So that's where your name is gonna go. So you could put love, and then your name. I'm gonna put your friend, and then my name. So do that, your. So your is an interesting word. It's actually you, Y-O-U, and then I just stick an R on the end. Your, and then friend. Fur, two sounds, fur, fur, I hear F and R together, fur, eh, 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 elephant, fur, n, 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 nut, friend, dog, your friend, and then Rachel at the bottom, because that's my name, All right? And there's my letter. And again, you can choose to write to whomever you want. You can write to mom, dad, aunts, uncles, you can write to animals, you can write to, um, I know you might write to a character from a cartoon that you enjoy watching or however you want to do it. But I just want you to enjoy and uh, maybe try a letter. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.